No guys, I wouldn't lie to you, this is the beetle. Oh, see that? So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. One of the most brightest glowing insects in the world. And its common name is the headlight beetle. And I guess you can see why. Because the two glowing patches are like the headlights of a car. Fantastic. This is to me a dream moment. Okay, this is special guys. I just found this. Can you see it? This is a click beetle, but it's not just a click beetle. This is a pyrophorus and it has two organs on its thorax that brightly glow. In fact, this is one of the most brightly glowing insects in the world. If you don't believe me, let me take it to a darker place. Can you see that? Let me take that. Now this is an educational channel, so if we can talk very briefly about bioluminescence, I'm going to take the opportunity. Because I'm also here to educate you and tell you about some of the spaces here and some of the insects. So it's entomology time. Ugh, I look horrible. I'm getting old, I'm getting wrinkles, see? Whoa, the cicadas are really loud. I'm almost 30 years old, guys. It was about time I started getting wrinkles. It's funny, I've been on YouTube for such a long time. You can literally see me grow older in my videos. Man. Anyway, the pyrophorus, the headlight beetle is for me a dream species. I always wanted to see it. So the fact I just found one is fantastic. This is the highlight. Even though it wasn't a moth, it was a fantastic find. This creature is in fact not a firefly. Fireflies are in a different family of beetles, the Lampyridae. And this is an Elatridae. Also, it's a, a species of click beetle. There's many species of click beetles in Brazil and some of them are very strongly bioluminescent like this one. Can you see that? If I take it here in the light, you'll see that this is actually an insect. That's absolutely incredible, isn't it? This is one of my dream species. I always wanted to see this. And don't worry, handling it does not hurt it. I'm trying to prevent it from escaping. I will release it back in nature later. This is a very special find. I've always wanted to see one of these. And on uh, terrestrial ecosystems, there is no animal that can glow brighter than this one. There is no firefly. There is no other insect that can beat the bioluminescence of the pyrophorus, really. That is just incredible. So why do they do this? Well, they do this to attract a mate, essentially. Just like fireflies, it's a case of communication. Secondly, when they are touched like this, they can also grow extra brightly. I guess to discourage enemies from eating them. I imagine this glowing effect is quite scary to some of their predators. Wow. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most brightest glowing insects in the world. And its common name is the headlight beetle. And I guess you can see why. Because the two glowing patches are like the headlights of a car. Fantastic. This is to me a dream moment. And there are so many incredible insects in the world like this one that nobody is filming for YouTube. That nobody is ever talking about. And to me that's a massive shame, you know. That makes me sad. There's so much beauty in this world that is unseen, unrecorded, undocumented. So this is why you have me on YouTube. Bit of self-promotion maybe. But literally though. Name any other channel that's showing you things like these from the rainforest. And what's really sad about these beetles is that they are disappearing everywhere. Uh, that's because they cannot stand light pollution. Artificial light, like street lights, billboards, really disturb them. As you can imagine, it disrupts their communication. They communicate with light. So, and humans, they make artificial light everywhere. And because of that, their populations are just disappearing, sadly. So these insects will be endangered. They are already endangered, in fact. 
Uh, but they're going to be more endangered in the future, the more humans spread around the world and build more houses, build more cities, build more billboards, more street lights, you know. Unfortunately, it's the same with fireflies. Fine fireflies are becoming endangered as well, sadly. Also because of now not only habitat destruction, but it's mainly light pollution, right now. Like artificial light really affects very badly all species of insects that, you know, are bioluminescent. Because you can imagine that it just interferes with how they communicate. What's also really interesting and really special is that this is what is called cold light. Now forgive me for playing with the beetle. I assure you this does not hurt the beetle, okay? It may be a bit stressed from running around, but that's a small price to pay for being in an educational video that will get more people interested in the species. Um, the species are thankfully very common here. They are in this area not endangered because there's very little artificial light. There's very little street lights, there's proper darkness. And what's really cool about the lights is that these lights so this is what is called cold light. So they use an enzyme, actually they use the chemicals luciferine and luciferase. And it's a very efficient chemical reaction because all, all the energy is converted into light. So that means pretty much no energy is wasted when producing light. As you know, like when humans make lights, like light bulbs or LED lights, these lamps, they become a little bit warm if you leave them on. And that's because the reaction is inefficient. Actually, most of the lights that humans produce are wasteful because they produce warmth as a byproduct. And that's what you actually don't want. However, these insects produce what is called cold light. No warmth is generated. So it's a very, very energy efficient form of light. That's very fascinating, isn't it? Wow. So guys, meet the headlight beetle. And sometimes these headlight beetles are attracted to lamps. And that's their weakness, I guess. And it just flew away. Oops, sorry. Bye bye headlight beetle, I hope you enjoyed being on YouTube. I for sure enjoyed showing you off. The most interesting thing about these beetles though is that their larvae are also bioluminescent. A lot of species develop in soil and rotting wood, feeding on organic material. But even more bizarre is that some species have larvae that develop in termite mounds. This can result in the famous pictures of glowing termite mounds that you can see in Brazil. Now these images are not fake. These termite nests have been infected with the larvae of headlight beetles. It also produce a strong glow. Not all species of headlight beetle develop in termite nests as far as I know, however. Not only that, the larvae of headlight beetles have different lifestyles per species. The beetles themselves can also feed, and often feed on things like pollen, fermenting fruit, and sometimes they even scavenge dead insects or eat other small insects. They can have a lifespan of several months. Now, last but not least, my channel is completely demonetized by YouTube, and YouTube refuses to tell me why. I need your help, people, because this hurts me a lot. I put a lot of passion, time and effort in my channel and I never uploaded anything controversial or political. If you like my show, please consider donating or tipping. Donations and crowdfunding is the only source of income and the only budget I have for my channel. I make time consuming content and I travel the world to film insects and with your help this channel can grow bigger and I can show you even cooler beetles.